This is Total Outdoor Programming. Hey, this is Marty from Total Outdoor Programming. We're going to bring you a new video on how to catch panfish, which would be your bluegill, perch, things of that nature. And what we're going to do is actually show you how we use this rig. We've already brought you a video that showed how to set up this rig. If you want to watch that, you can watch it right here. And if you have any questions on how to tie the knot, you can watch that video here. But this is basically how we're going to use that rig once we go out there. And what we're doing at this point is we're basically fishing weed beds, shorelines, little drop-offs and breaks. What I'll typically look for is some vegetation and fish the outskirts of it. And you have to kind of play around on this. The best thing you can do is check your state local regulations, see how many poles you're allowed to use at a time. Here in this state, we're allowed to use three at a time. Certain states have two at a time, so make sure you check that first. But if you have a couple poles and you're allowed to use a couple, get more bobbers out in the water so you can check it and see. So the best thing you can do is get as many rods as you're allowed to have out there. You know, you want to try and cover some area quickly with different depths, different lures, and by that I mean, you know, maybe using a piece of night crawler on one and a bee moth on the other. You know, mix it up a little bit and try and start learning where those fish happen to be at this particular time of the day. If it's four feet at the weed edge and it drops off to 10 feet out where you're at, you might want to set your depth for about five feet, six feet, and just kind of experiment with where you're going to cast it and try and find out how you can hone in on those bluegill. When it comes to the bobber that I use, I prefer to use these cylindrical shaped bobbers and that's just because the round ones have more water resistance. When they try and pull it, they're, it's, you know, they're going to feel that that bobber's on there a little bit more. These ones tend to have a little less resistance so the fish might take that bait a little bit longer. And I typically won't actually use a sinker on this type of a rig with these little bobbers. So when you see it out there, you're going to see it laying sideways. and. When that fish pulls it, it's just going to tip it up a little bit, so you'll just see it kind of doing one of these numbers when you're getting a bite. Uh, the reason I don't use the sinker is everything you put on there is going to be more ability for that fish to realize that something's not right with what he's trying to eat. So just keep it real minimal and just use the hook straight to the bobber there. It'll lay on its side, but just watch for that little twitch and get ready to set the hook. And then the important thing to do on this is when you cast it out, just keep it learning as you go. You know, cast it over here and your second one over there. Leave it set for 30 seconds to two minutes, somewhere in there, just kind of long enough to where you're going to see if you're getting a nibble. It usually doesn't take long if you're in an active spot. If you don't get anything, just pick it up, fan cast, which means go down the line, keep trying different areas, and if you don't catch anything, if you don't get bites after 10-15 minutes, don't be afraid to pull up and move to a new location. Just keep searching until you hit them. Usually they're in schools, and once you hit them, you're going to be into some good action. So hopefully this tip helps. If you have any questions or comments, let us know. And as always, keep subscribing, and we'll keep more videos coming for you.